Hey everybody, this is the Next Archer, and I will be doing my review of the Cold Steel Recon Tanto. Um, there you go. Comes with a cardboard box, nothing too special. Kind of neat to keep them. Um, the knife comes wrapped up in bubble wrap, and a cardboard thing over the blade so that you do not cut yourself. Which, I would hate to cut myself right when opening a box for my new knife. Okay, let's get the specifications done with this knife. It is... This is the knife right here. Um, 9 ounces. The spine of the blade is 3 16 inches thick. And stays that way throughout the whole blade until the tip where it tapers into the tanto point tip. Um, and it is seven inches long, the blade is. Um, the handle is four and three fourths inches long and has a lanyard hole in it. So if you want a lanyard on it, I prefer not to have one. Um, has a great grip on the handle also. Um, the overall length is 11 and three fourths inches thick. Also, it has a handle material. Let's see what the handle material is called. Um, Craton. No. Yeah, Craton is the handle material. It's like a rubbery feel. Um, and I'll show that really close. It's almost like little bubbles. There's lanyard and there. So it has a very nice grip on it, so it won't slip out of your hand when um, using it or using it for batoning. Okay, um, I think I have all that details down. It has a Securex um, sheath. I'll talk about the sheath first. Um, it's a very nice sheath, actually. Um, kind of like Kydex. Um, it might actually be the same material is kydex, but it feels like plastic material. I've never handled kydex before. So it has lots of places to put straps, ropes, you can about attach that to anything. Um, the belt loop is detachable, so you can remove that. You can put the knife upside down on your belt if you take those off and put it upside down. I don't know why you'd want to have it upside down on your belt, but you can. Um, the belt loop itself, very nice. Um, it's Velcro, so you do not have to take your belt off. And it also has a snap in the middle for added um, security. When you put the knife into the sheath, clicks in place. This just holds it in place for a little more added security. Unsnap that, still stays in place, will not come loose. One thing I have to say I do not like about the sheath is how it holds the knife. It holds the knife on this part of the handle, which wears away at the handle. So if you can see that. Yeah. So, that's one little rant that I have about the sheath. But, I don't think I'll have to really worry about it. It's no big deal. Um, okay, now that we have the sheath out of the way, which, incredible sheath, um, that's one reason you should get the knife. But, let's go to the knife. It has a AUS 8A blade, um, and has multiple ways to grip it. Um, regular grip. You can choke up on the knife for a more um, able to get down and into stuff. And, of course, the reverse grip. Um, very nice tanto tip, um, well made. It does have a slight upward sweep, the whole blade does, so it's not a flat blade. Um, it has a black coating on it. Um, it actually stayed pretty well on there. That was taken off because I was batoning with this knife, and it batons extremely well through medium-sized logs. Chops decently, not the best chopper I have. Um, 
simply because it doesn't have the weight behind it. Um, for, I'd call this a medium-sized survival knife. It can also be used for almost a military blade. Um, I believe it does have a full tang or goes to about here, where the um, lanyard ring is. Um, let's see. Uh, there's not too much to talk about it. Uh, the AUSA a blade has stood up extremely well. I've been chopping and batoning, haven't had to sharpen it, and it's still extremely sharp. It's not razor sharp to cut through paper, but will still cut through things pretty well. I'll show through this piece of paper. See, it won't cut paper too well. I'll cut it slightly, but as you can tell, it's not paper cutting, or it doesn't sound like very sharp at all if you can't cut paper. But it is more of a rough sharp. Very good for um, survival or um, outdoor activities. Um, let's see. I think that's really about all. It's, it's made in Japan, so it's not a China blade. Um, so yeah, that's the Cord Steel Recon Tanto. It's a quick review of it. I'll probably do so, a video of me chopping wood with it and batoning with it. If you'd like to see that um, sooner than later, um, post below and I can get that out pretty soon. Uh, that's really all I have to say about it. Just a great blade. Glad I bought it. Oh, before I go, I bought it for, let's see, uh, 60 something from Cutlery Shoppy. Um, I recommend um, going there. It's an online store. Um, they have the best prices um, and have realistic shipping prices. That's where I bought a good deal of my um, more expensive knives. But yeah, I recommend going there. Um, so I will see you guys later. I'll tr be trying to get more reviews out today. Thanks. Goodbye.